Asia IP, the signature destination at NAB show, helping organisations deliver connected content experiences. I'm Bridget Nzeku and I'm delighted to be joined by David Springall, CTO and founder of YoSpace. David, thanks very much for joining us. How has the technology matured over the last 12 months since we interviewed you? Yes, well, um, as you know, we, we provide uh, a means for broadcasters to monetize live content. It's been an area that's been quite difficult to monetize um, for online streaming by allowing them to replace the advertising that would have been the broadcast advertising to actually using um, user-targeted uh, online advertising. Now, sort of the last year, um, we've found a, a, a big change in sort of the perception of the technology in the market, um, whereas our, broad, our customers are now applying m many more complicated business rules as to how they want to optimize uh, the use of that, that inventory, that, that, that break in the middle of the really um, popular football match or whatever. Um, so our technology has effectively, with, with the last year, has been concentrating on sort of delivering that optimization, that sort of revenue optimization. And as a result of having to make those changes and respond in that way, how has the business progressed? Well, it's, it's fantastic. I mean, the first year we launched this was a couple of years ago, um, we were educating the market that this was possible. Uh, last year was, you know, getting the first adopters to use our platform. And this year, by the end of this year, any um, premium sporting event that's in the UK will have been uh, delivered through our technology. Fantastic uptake then. Yes, am amazing. Re you know, really, it's really resonating with uh, our, our customer base, the broadcasters and service providers. You mentioned how consumer behaviour and consumer demands have changed. What, what, what changes will we continue to see in the route to NAB 2060? Yes, well, I, I think that consumers, you know, are increasingly going to connect to devices to watch you know, catch up content, and that's been well established by, you know, uh, you know the, the plethora of catch up uh, television um, provided by broadcasters. But it's the live content that has traditionally been not as engaging uh, with that particular uh, sort of usage. But now, with the ability for the broadcasters to monetize it effectively and much more effectively than they would be in just standard broadcast. Um, we you know we are you know we're expecting to see a continued um, innovation in the device space that would allow that um, consumer behaviour and more and more opportunities to develop the business. Absolutely, yes, yeah, I mean, t -t totally. I mean, w as we move forward with uh, you know this incredibly um, exciting time of you know, the, the movement of broadcast into the connected space, you know, we are you know, as a business very well um, uh, placed to be able to take advantage of that. David Springall, thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you.